all right guys this is the michael myers fanatic back with another video i had to restart this video several times because i'm trying to wrap up my thoughts on this trilogy and then talk about where i think we should go from here i'm also going to give my thoughts on the whole thing with danielle harris and scout compton feeling ignored um, that's so funny by the way but i'm gonna give my thoughts on that they felt ignored when they attended the premiere of uh halloween ends so first of all let's start with halloween ends i didn't like the movie i still don't if you do that's fine but to all the fanboys and fangirls that were talking shit over the past four years. Because this whole shit storm started in 2018. And I mean, these fanboys and fangirls, they came out in full force. They were attacking me left and right, left and right, left and right. Shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't understand Halloween. You're not a real fan. Am I a real fan now? What do you think about me now? I told you this was going to be a pile of shit. And all you did was attack me and attack my channel. Well, look at you now. Halloween ends, most people say that it's one of the most hated entries in the franchise. And I could have sworn I read an article that said it's worse than Rob Zombie's Halloween. So, I don't know. I don't think it's worse than that, but whoever wrote that article, I mean, you're, you're close, but no cigar. Michael Myers is basically this old fart now. I, I don't understand something. How, how can Michael Myers go from killing a bunch of people in Halloween Kills to being this broken down old man? I don't understand that. You know, he kills a bunch of people during the mob scene like he's fucking uh, Mario from the Mario franchise. Like he ate a mushroom and suddenly in ends, he's just sitting in the sewer, all broken down, being beat up by some guy named Corey Cunningham. Before I get to what I think about where we should go from here, I want to talk to you about the whole situation with Danielle Harris and Scout Compton. Now, this next topic, I can't really verify because I wasn't there. So I want to put that disclaimer out there. And if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong about Danielle Harris and Scout Compton, present me with proof and I will make an apology video. I don't think I am, but if I'm wrong, let me know and I'll make the video straight away. Because I don't like saying things about people that aren't true. So if I'm wrong about Danielle and Scout Compton ignoring people, let me know and I will apologize immediately. With that being said, enjoy the rest of the video. Danielle Harris and Scout Compton allegedly attended a premiere of Halloween ends and they basically said something to the effect of when they approached Jamie Lee Curtis they were like hi we admire you or whatever and she basically gave them the cold shoulder especially Danielle Harris Danielle Harris basically said hey I played your daughter in four and five. And Jamie Lee Curtis basically said something to the effect of, I don't know who you are. I don't watch those movies. 
Do I think Jamie Lee is lying about not knowing who Danielle Harris is? I think she probably doesn't know a great deal about her, but she knows who she is. She's heard her name here and there. I think that. I believe that. She definitely knows who she is. And then she says, I don't watch those movies. I believe that. Do you honestly think Jamie Lee Curtis sat around and said, hmm, let's see. Now, what do I want to watch today? Oh, I know. How about Halloween 4? And then after that, I'll follow it up with Halloween 5. No. She probably doesn't watch them. Look, I want to present you with a situation and you tell me what you think. Is it possible that maybe Jamie Lee Curtis gets tired of people approaching her every day? Because Danielle Harris says that she felt ignored by Jamie Lee Curtis, if that article is correct. Maybe Jamie Lee Curtis is tired of people asking her about Halloween every day. And to be fair, Danielle and Scout, to be fair, you ignore people too. You ignore them every single day. And I know because I was sitting right there when you did your live streams or whatever on Instagram and people approached you about having you on their show. And what did you do? You would skip right over them and go to the next person. So you ignore people every single fucking day. But then when Jamie Lee Curtis does it to you, then you like, oh, she ignored us. She, You do it every day. And just in case a fanboy or fangirl wants to come to their defense, let's look up the definition of the word ignore. Let's do that. Because they ignore fans every day. But then when Jamie Lee Curtis does it, it's a problem. Ignore. Refuse to take notice of or acknowledge, disregard intentionally. That's what it means to ignore someone. To refuse to take notice of or acknowledge. To disregard them intentionally. So when these fans ask you to come on their show on Instagram... You ignore them. You refuse to take notice of or acknowledge them. You disregard them intentionally. That is the definition of ignoring someone. You know they're there, but you are pretending and acting as if they aren't. That is what it means to ignore someone. So you literally do the same thing to fans that you're crying about Jamie Lee Curtis doing to you. That literally doesn't make any sense. So, do I think Jamie Lee Curtis should have ignored you? No. No, she shouldn't have. But, in all fairness, she's probably sick of people bringing you up. Because I know people probably have brought you up to her and said, hey, what about Danielle Harris? She's probably tired of hearing that shit. That's what it is. And Danielle, look, I'm your biggest fan. I like the Thorn trilogy and Jamie Lloyd and all that shit. But I'm a fair man. You ignore people every fucking day. How is that any different from what she did? I guess the only thing that, that makes it different is that you feel that you are, you know, both Halloween alum. So that's what makes it hurt even more and feel even more disrespectful. But when you really break it down, it all boils down to the same thing. You ignore fans every single day. You just do. Period. 
Scout Compton, basically the same thing. I was on Instagram for a few of her live streams, same thing. Fans come on there and say, oh, can I have you on my show? She skips right over them. So don't give me the bullshit about being ignored. Don't do that. And I would love to have you both on my channel, but I'm not going to skip over it. And it never happened. You know the Michael Myers fanatic. For all the people that watch my show, you know I bring it real and I bring it raw. And they ignore people all the fucking time. But now, last but not least, where should we go from here with the Halloween franchise? Um, to be honest with you, if it's not Halloween 9, I don't know. You know, I, I could say Halloween 9 and maybe a TV show. Those are the only two things I can think of. That's it. And there's a channel called The Protagonist. And he says that he wants... Shout out to him, by the way. He says that he wants a Halloween reboot. You can't do that because you would literally have to wipe the lore clean and have Michael Myers go after a new group of people. So Michael Myers would essentially be this random guy who just goes after random people. Okay, so why is he going after them? This is why the family connection is the only thing that made it make sense. Because anything other than that, and he's just killing for no reason. And you're going to say, well, he did it in part one. Yeah, but that was different. They never intended on it being connected to anything. But now Michael Myers is established as having a connection. Whether the producers want to acknowledge it or not. And let me say this before I go. In the next three to five years, Malika Cod is going to come along and he's going to announce a new Halloween project. Some writer or director is going to come along and do what they always do. They're going to come along and say how much they love the original Halloween. They love the franchise and they love the fans. And I'm not saying they don't. But they're going to do that and I'll bet you what they're going to do is they're going to basically take either Halloween 1 or 2 and try to make a sequel to that. It's the same thing. Oh, and one more thing. Halloween ends, you know, making Allison the star. I'm a huge fan of Andy Matichak. I loved her in Halloween, but why the fuck did it take you three movies to put her over? And for all my wrestling fans, they know what that expression means to put somebody over. It means to make them front and center. To do something to get the audience to notice them. To get them across to the audience. Why did it take you three movies to get this woman over? Because you didn't know what the fuck you were doing in the first place. You were just shooting in the dark. That's why. She should have been over at the end of the first movie like Jamie Lee Curtis was. She should have been over at the end of the first movie like Danielle Harris was, like Ellie Cornell was, but she wasn't. You know why? Because you had no clear direction. You were just making shit up as you go along, you know, sort of like WWE, but whatever. It is what it is. All right, guys, those are my thoughts on Halloween ends and what's next for the franchise. I'm the Michael Myers fanatic. I approve this message. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to follow me on all forms of social media at the Myers Fan 25 and hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Thank you for watching.